Hey, what's up, y'all? Sandra Slam here. Welcome back to another Slam Movie Review. This video is being recorded at midnight. And I... <sighs> well, you can see the, the title. I have just seen... Event or Event Horizon, 1997. It's event Horizon. Science fiction action, uh, science fiction horror film directed by Paul W. S. Anderson. Stars Lawrence Fishburne, Sam Neill, Catherine Kington, and J Jolie Richardson. And let me tell you something. Let's talk about the plot here. Set in 2047, it follows a crew of astronauts sent on a rescue mission after a missing spaceship. The Event Horizon spontaneously appears in orbit around Neptune. Searching the ship for signs of life, the rescue team learns that the Event Horizon was a testbed for experimental engine that opened a rift to space-time curriculum continuum and left our universe entirely, allowing a male-violent male event male-violent entity to possess the ship. Uh huh. That's the plot. Okay. Well, this movie was shite. And supposedly, this was originally be a, was originally going to be a 130 minute film, but due to fucking production or something going on with the film, it, this movie's also a commercial a commercial failure. And it's a cult it's a cult film, isn't it? Well, not by this guy. No, this is going to be a shit review. This is going to be just lack of shit. It's like the movie Sphere. I tell you what, though. I, I did a review for that Sphere, the movie with uh, uh, Dustin Hoffman, Samuel Jackson, Sharon Stone. That movie was longer, and it was boring. Right here, very fucking boring, uninventful bullshit. Sam Neill, the doctor, he's the fucking... The doctor who sees all his act these fucking hallucinations or whatnot, his dead wife or whoever fuck, your black eyes. Not even scary. Yeah, they got some jump scares, but really not. I mean, really fucking not. I mean The cast, you have Lawrence Fishburne is Captain Miller of the Lewis and Clark, which that's the the ship that they're using to is their search and rescue ship. Sam Neill's a doctor William Ware. Kathleen Quintus is Peter's medical technician. Johnny Richardson is Lieutenant Stark. Richard T. Jones is Cooper. Jack knows if it was Justin as the engin chief engineer. And Jason Isaacs, which it's weird because I never saw him in this is in nineteen ninety seven. He was Smith uh, he was the medical doctor and then Sean Pertwee, Smith Smitty. So this movie's based on character development. Basically, it's very uneventful. You know, this reminds me of Dead Space in a way when it first starts. It's like, let's see some aliens or I mean, not really aliens, like some kind of shit going on. Nothing, nothing. They get to this fucking ship, empty as fuck. Yeah, they see transcripts or not or whatever fucking video, audio, where the fuck. Oh hell, this was into hell. Well, they find out. Oh, this was. Hey, you went to. This, this fucking shit went to hell. I came back. This was like the goat in, like, they have him as Satan, or uh, the re weir, his real form, as this fucking pinhead ripoff. It was shit. People are stupid in this film, looking at fucking hallucinations like the fucking bitch here. The, you know what my favorite character was on here? Was Smithy. Just the way his fucking demeanor was and shit. I fucking enjoyed that. They didn't care for the just and the, the little... So basically they get in the ship and they don't know. You find out that Weir's involved in shit. Because I already knew there was a spoiler. I saw it on fucking Facebook and YouTube. This is like, oh my god. It's fucking boring. It's uneventful. And you're thinking, it's a 95 minute film. 96 minute film. And it just drags on, drags on. Yeah, there's some something going on here. And then what the, that Justin guy gets in this black hole. It's just black hole. The heart of the ship. Ooh, the heart of the ship. That's all it is. And Brett Weir in his fucking no eyes and I don't care. Lord Fishburne being the martyr in this film. Sorry, spoilers already. Don't care. Very un fucking eventful. 
I was not a fan of this film, or if, if you guys are a fan of this film, be my guest. Maybe I didn't pay attention enough. I did. I didn't pay attention enough because it was fucking boring. It was fucking lame. And the fucking medical doctor, they see all these, these fucking hallucinations. Oh, she sees the boy. And you fall to your dump, you fall, you, you go to your rescue. No, you see your fucking son who is fucking a quadriplegic or whatever. You know you're missing him. You're getting these PTSD moments or something, but you're following this like it's in a spaceship. You're fucking stupid and you die to your death. Woohoo, dumbass. And people self they they self destruct themselves and they get suicide, they get mind control of suicide. I don't know, maybe I'm just doing it too hardly. I didn't give a shit about this fucking flick. This flick blew ball. This is not good. Was not good to me. I thought it was gonna be good. I thought it was gonna be fantastic. It's a cult flick it's a cult flick. But for me, no it's not. It's full of shit. I didn't care for it. Wasn't interested. Tough toodle. Well, let's look at the reception because I know they shitted on it. They had a television series. Wow. I ain't watching that shit. Let's see here. Rock Tomatoes gave it a rating of 27% with uh, the cr critics' consensus reads, despite a strong opening that promises sci-fi thrills, Event Horizon quickly devolves into an exclusive style over substance whose flashy effects and gratuitous gore fail to mask its overlands of horror cliches. On Metacritic, the film holds a weighted average score of 35 out of 100 based on 20 critics, indicating generally unfavorable reviews. Simba score gave the film an average D plus on an A to F scale. Roger Ebert gave the film two stars, the legend himself, two stars out of four, stating, the script creates a sense of, see, here's the thing is, he goes for the scripts and all that other shit. I just watch it from watching the movie from the, I don't really care. You know, but he gives a sense of forbidding an actor blind, but no body. The Washington Post critic wrote, if you want to have that Brent Ryan experience without spending seven bucks, try this instead. Put a bucket on your head. Have a level one beat on it when he was watching it a hundred times. The film had its early supporters. Empire Magazine invented three out of five the f that the film never fulfills its promises down to its overrides and horror vagaries. And it... Now... This guy says, total film gave it a 3 out of 5, stating that the excellent special effects and alien-esque feel make this supernatural horror film the shine in space. You know what? I don't give a fuck. This movie blew. I mean, you got little, you get little images of, like, what's hell and shit. And I, I remember I saw that fucking picture of that, the, 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 the woman, you know, like, Tortured to death or whatever. All it was was a little speck of fucking dust. A little speck of scene. It wasn't a full scene. No, it was a speck of, oh, this is what hell is. Ah, you see all the fucking people burning to death or tortured alive or dead in hell. Fucking lame. And it gives a two middle fingers. Thumbs fucking down. Event Horizon, more like shit horizon. The characters were, and even Lawrence Fishburne couldn't save this film. So yeah, that's my thoughts about this film. One and done for me, not rewatchable at all, unless we want to be fucking bored to death. I don't know, it was a sack of shit. But I'm STS, thank you for watching this movie review, and we'll see you later. Peace.